Mr. Rizinki. The gentleman from Montana is recognized. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I stand before you today in strong opposition to Resolution 21 to pull forces out of Syria. Like many in this distinguished chamber, I've served in the region. I've spent 23 years as a Navy, Navy SEAL. I've hunted war criminals. I've dismantled terrorist cells. And I've fought for freedom on foreign shores. There are several self-evident truths in Syria. First, the U.S. troops are authorized by Congress. Second, as I do believe, that we should review those authorizations, then they need to be reviewed. We should have answers on objectives, on failures, on victories, on a plan for ultimate success. I agree. But there is no doubt that Syria also remains a center for radical Islamic forces and terrorism like ISIS, like PKK. These are organizations that will never stop, ever. They are committed to destroy this nation and our allies, and we should be aware of their objectives. Lastly, the hard truth is this. Either we fight them in Syria or we'll fight them here. Either we fight and defeat them in Syria, or we'll fight in the streets of our nation. And to understand the scope of the military presence, we're talking about about 900 troops. That's 900 troops that have to have the capability for intelligence collection, self-defense, surveillance, targeting. In case our troops get in trouble, that force must be sufficient to get them out of trouble, because every Sailor, soldier, airman, and marine deserves nothing less. 300 military personnel is an objectively small contingent. When you look at it, that's about the size of a Walmart. So I agree with many of the supporters of the resolution that we, Congress has the powers and these powers should be reviewed. We should ask the hard questions. What's the path to victory? Where are the resources that are being spent, are they being spent in the right spot? Is there a clear path to victory and what are the interests of the United States? But believe me, Mr. Chairman, I understand the burden of war. I've lost a lot of friends. And I understand the consequences of war and foreign shores, both to the servicemen and our families which is why I call on my colleagues today to ask the right questions, but to reject this well-intended but really, really bad idea. Mr. Chairman, I yield.